dying stages where you thought, oh, we're in a bit of trouble, because Glenn was closing on you. Was there any issues? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had a pretty good run there for a while, so I thought I had, made hopefully, a bit of ground, and um, <clears throat> just when I got stuck there, I thought, well, I'm going to have to make something happen here eventually, but, um, you know, it was just, I just had to, you know, just try and concentrate on <clears throat> getting past them, and, um, you know, try to keep the lap car between us, so, uh, and, uh, I, I was a little bit worried there at times, and, um, you know, I was trying to keep, <laughs> keep the car straight, and, you know, not, not get into them when I'm trying to pass them. Original pole sitter, John O'Keefe, went to the infield as well. I bet your eyes lit up when you saw that. Yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting that. And, uh, you know, it was a bit disappointing for him, and, uh, but it sort of, you know, helped us, and, you know, never looked back from there. Mate, you never looked back. The start was crucial too. You elected to go to the outside, but you made him pay for it, uh, not once, but twice. Yeah, I mean, it was sort of a bit hard to, to pick where to be, and uh, he said, like, he had a bit of a stumble off the, with his motor at the start, so, um... You know, maybe he, had, maybe he did have a better a spot, but, uh, you know, he sort of... You know, I got, just got off to a good start there and <coughs> made it happen. Mate, when you and uh, Matt Easton got together for the first time, and I mean that in a racing sense, <laughs> they're not in a relationship. <laughs> you almost won everything there was to win, but a little time between drinks. Having said that, you leave the points in the Eureka Series and been on the podium and had good car speed. The cap it with a win now, I'm sure, is pleasing. Yeah, you definitely got to a, you know, a dream start there. It's a great team to drive for, and I'm well, pretty lucky to have have this ride, and uh, I just can't thank everyone that works on that team enough. Um, you know, all the great sponsors I have, uh, you know, Bass Concreting and uh, Johnny Drysdale, uh, Drysdale Carfield and Lucas Orbs, and, uh, you know, Victory Lane Race Gear, and just everyone that helped. You know, they ran, you know, all last week, and I think, I think they did like, uh, you know, six, Seven nights, so um, or might have been more than that. Um, you know, so yeah, and then come here and run uh, two cars tonight. Just put in a great effort, and um, can't thank them enough. Matt Eastman does an amazing job for the sport. He's given you an opportunity to become a Victoria Sprint Car Champion in honour of Graham McCubbin, a name that you've probably grown up and listened to and read about, and now it's synonymous that you're the first uh, winner of the Graham McCubbin uh, Trophy for the Victoria Sprint Car Championship. So congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much. It's a massive honour. I'm uh, very proud to have uh, been able to win the first. And um, <coughs> thanks for everyone coming. And uh, the uh, Avalon Speedway and all that doing a good job tonight. And I just got the car with my car. It's not really speed, probably, but uh, sorry. I didn't notice. Nah, nah, it's very hard for me. You and me both very quiet on word, mate. Well done. Thanks. Come on, folks, get up.